In this uh, tutorial, we will look at how to convert volumetric flow rate into mass flow rate. So the uh, problem statement is a liquid food is flowing in a pipe. Uh, the internal diameter of that pipe is 4 centimeters. The volumetric flow rate is 2 liters per second. The density of the liquid food is uh, 1050 kilogram per cubic meters and we want to calculate the mass flow rate. So in this problem, uh, some of the given items are uh, internal pipe diameter is 4 centimeters. And we will convert that into the SI units uh, that for length we always use meters. Uh, so we know that uh, 4 centimeters will be then 0 0.04 meters. The volumetric flow rate is uh, 2 liters per second. Now, since 1 cubic meter has uh, 1,000 liters, uh, we will convert that volumetric flow rate into cubic meter per second by dividing by 1,000. So we have 0 0.002 cubic meter per second. And the density is uh, 1,050 kilograms per cubic meters. Now, the equations we are going to use here uh, for the volumetric flow rate and mass flow rate uh, come from the continuity equation. And I would suggest if you have not, uh, you may want to look at uh, my other tutorial uh, that gives you the uh, derivation of um, uh, this equation, uh, the continuity equation. So uh, in volumetric flow rate, uh, the continuity equation tells us that area times velocity equals volumetric flow rate. So A is area, U with the little bar on the top is the average velocity, and uh, V with a dot is the volumetric flow rate. And for the mass flow rate, this uh, equation is rho, which is density, times the cross-sectional area, times U bar, which is the velocity, equals M dot, which is mass flow rate. So, in terms of solution, our first step is then uh, to find out what is the average velocity u um, uh, with the small uh, bar on the top. So, the velocity is volumetric flow rate divided by area, uh, as we can obtain from the equation for the volumetric flow rate. So, we go ahead and substitute uh, point zero zero 0.002 cubic meters per second in the numerator. Uh, and then for the area, which is cross-sectional area of the pipe, uh, which is pi d squared over 4, and d is the diameter. So here it will be pi into 0 0.04 square divided by 4. And we write down the units with our terms. Um, since we are using meters, uh, 0 0.04 meters is the diameter, so that will be meter square and then for the uh, units uh, uh, in the denominator and uh, cubic meter per second in the numerator. Uh, and when we carry out that calculation, we get 1.59 and the units will be meter per second because the square meter term in the denominator would get cancelled with uh, cubic meter uh, in the numerator to give us a uh, meter uh, per second. So the velocity is 1.59 meter per second. And then we can uh, go ahead and use the uh, equation for the mass flow rate because we know the density, we know the cross-sectional area, and now we also know the velocity. So uh, we have 1050 kilograms per cubic meters uh, for the density. Uh, multiplied with the cross-sectional area, pi into 0 0.04 uh, square divided by 4, and the units will be meter square, and uh, that multiplied with 1.59 uh, meter per second. Uh, we will note that uh, we will cancel out some of the uh, units uh, for meters, and uh, we will be left with essentially kilograms per second. Uh, for the units. And uh, when we carry out the calculation, uh, the number we get is 2.1. So the mass flow rate, m dot, is 
2.1 kilograms per second. So in this problem, we have seen how to convert uh, volumetric flow rate into mass flow rate. And of course, you can also uh, do additional problem where if you are given a mass flow rate, you can convert that into volumetric flow rate.